Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, what is the default value of an integer variable in Java? Let me answer this question with practical demonstration. So in Java programming, when you define a variable with int data type, and if you don't assign any value to that particular variable, or if you don't initialize any value to that particular variable, and try to print the variable directly without assigning or initializing the value to it. In that case, what value will be printed? That is going to be the default value of an integer variable or in data type declared variable in Java, which is nothing but zero. Okay. If you try to print a variable which is declared with int data type, okay, in Java programming without actually assigning or initializing it, then you are going to get the output as zero. Make sure that you declare this variable at a global level rather than at the local level. Because if you declare this particular variable at a local level, then it is mandatory for you to initialize, okay? And if you declare this particular variable at a global level that is directly under the class and outside the methods, then it will allow you to not assign or initialize it, okay? Without initializing or assigning any value to it, you can perform operations on the variable or you can perform print operation also. Okay. And when you do so, when you print it out, we'll get zero as output, which is nothing but the default value of an integer variable in Java. Let me explain this answer for this question in a detailed manner in a practical way. Okay. First of all, the straightforward answer is zero. And here, let me practically prove you that. Uh, just for proving this program is required guys, but for answering right zero is enough to answer. Okay. If in case, uh, you know, you need to give more explanation, you can give this program as an example. Now here I created a uh, method guys, that is the main method. And I'm not going to create a variable inside the method. If I create a variable inside the method, okay, int a, and if I say system.out.println a, you see, I'm going to get an error saying that uh, you have to initialize a variable, okay? So with, with this compiler error, I cannot initialize, but what if I take this outside and uh, you know, I'm still getting an error. The reason behind that is this particular global variable is not static. And if I directly want to access this, uh, you know, global variable of this class, okay, inside the static method, static methods can only access static stuff. Since this variable A is not a static type, hence we are getting the error. You see, uh, you are making, you cannot make a static reference to a non-static kind of stuff, it's saying. Either you have to create an object for this class and using the object difference you have to access this or the simplest way is make it static. Okay. Don't worry about this. Still, it is a global variable. Okay. Uh, the variable declared with in data type. You see, without initializing also, without assigning any value to this particular variable, we're able to access this variable or print this variable. If you run this code, you'll get an output that is zero in the output, which proves that, you see, zero got printed in the output, which proves that, okay, zero is the default value of the variable declared with int data type, okay? In Java programming, the default value of integer variable or int data type declared variable is zero, okay? So with practical demonstration and theoretical explanation, I've answered this question for you. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.